Hello, good morning guys. It's 12th January. I was gonna say December. Sheesh, I don't want to go back a year, a month. Good morning. It is almost 10 a.m. And I'm heading for a hair color, finally. Dude, a lot of you know that I was waiting for my hair color. Yeah, it's been the longest I've gone without grooming my hair. And I know it looks all shiny and straight, but it's just blow dried. When I have bath, it is so dry. It is so dry. And you can see this demarcation right here. My hair has grown long and it's become really orange and stuff. So I'm going to just tone down the color, just like fix it a little. I'm not doing too much of root work because I don't want any color on my roots. So yeah, I'm not going to be touching this. I'm just going to be correcting this bottom bit and getting a trim and a spa but i have like the whole day i'm sure it's gonna take like a while and yeah i'm wearing this dress i only wear dresses now no pants pants are gone i just don't like the discomfort i feel this is from thailand from Koh Samui, some brand i don't even know but yeah it's just a nice maxi dress it's a midi maxi and it's comfortable and yes it's time to go i will see you guys once i'm back hello good morning everybody it is 13th of jan and this is my hair color it's actually quite nice it's my it's the same color just a little bit more less yellow and brassy and it's like toned down but i'm going in again today i got a haircut by the way trimmed and more layers into the hair like we went shorter here and it was looking too flat and one length so gave it some volume but i'm going in today because there's this clear gap that you can see between the black and the blonde usually what we do is we touch up the roots and make it brown so that it looks blended but i'm not touching any color to my root right now so no color has gone into my root which is great i don't want my scalp to get color because i'm still pregnant i don't want to risk it even though it's fine you know um, i just want to avoid it altogether so i'm just gonna go in to blend this a little bit and that's just gonna be an hour's job not much yeah yesterday was a tiring day it was i sat for like six hours to get this done it always takes time and i just received a ton of packages i think the baby shower items are coming through and my zara dresses have come in i just picked up backup dresses for my baby shower in case i don't get a brand to, in case i don't like any dresses for many brands and then i call for some dishes right like some organizers to keep my dry fruits in so they have come so i have to unpack and open up all of that but i need to get some breakfast first bread butter and jam this is the jam it's a dana mixed fruit jam i got from food hall i don't like the usual kisan mixed fruit oh my god i just it's too too sweet i don't think we have good bread here in mumbai we, we may in bakeries, like, but the bakeries are really far from me. Um, and you need to get it fresh out of the oven in the morning, you know. So it's not really feasible for me to get fresh baked bake bread. Yeah, so there's this English oven bread, Britannia. I just like, I don't like Wibs. Wibs is the worst brand in breads ever. It's like plastic. I don't know. It's not, again, the best. This is brown bread, but I just make do with it. Let's have some Nariel Pani. Oops. Mmm, yum. First trimester, I hated Nariel Pani. It was so tough to keep it down, but now I like it. And it's good for the baby. In Thailand, everybody was like, it's good for baby. Have, have coconut water. And they used to give us coconut water. <laughs> so cute. 2 a.m. shopping is coming to life. It's my tea, sugar, and coffee canister, organizer, storage. <laughs> I, I don't know, I found it really cute when I saw this on Mintra. I buy most of my storage items from Amazon and Mintra, but mostly Mintra because they come really packaged well and they don't break. And Amazon, I have noticed a lot of breakage of glass and the returning process is a pain. At least it's like one color. I really am a fan of wooden lids. Even our basic candles have good lids. Oh, these are so cute. So nice. Coffee. Oh, these are not wooden lids. These are tin only in wooden color. 
How nice. I have one that is also nice, but it's colorful. It's like pastel color, which is not going well. How cute. I like these. I like these a lot. Oh, my baby shower gifts are coming in. Cute. I don't know who sent this, but yeah, I'm calling for things like these, like imported lotions. I just realized there's so much harmful ingredients in baby products that I was shocked when I was doing my research. Um, this is considered quite good and quite safe. So it's got really good ingredients as well. There is no um, fragrance, which is something I was deeply looking for. Most products had lightly scented at the end of it. This is like daily moisture lotion, natural oatmeal, um, protects and moisturizes baby's sensitive skin for 24 hours, fragrance free and hypoallergenic. Can't believe I'm gonna use this on my baby. Just can't wrap my head around only. Still, still. Oh yeah, I called for, so I got a lot of almonds, cashews and almond, cashews and walnuts and I could not find like the appropriate jar but now I think this is too small, oh my god. This is too small, like this is way too small. I think I can refill it and you know, it's like that. So I think you can put anything like candy. I'll always use organizers, it doesn't matter how small or big they are it always comes in handy but these are so cute i'll just this is from the brand good homes they have really good stuff like most of my organizers are from them see how it's like matching everything has a theme now ah i have i have like three two of these and again wooden lid glass it's so good you guys and it's really airtight and nice so again this is to keep your rice wheat almonds whatever whatever anything it's pretty so cool okay so this is what i had it in earlier these are from west side it's very popular i'm sure if you've visited west side you know and then i'm just transitioning it into this now i have these teaspoons but i purchased these wooden ones so i think they're not the same they're probably smaller, but then I think these look cuter than the steel ones and they get all stuck here because of the moisture. So I'm just going to put one spoon inside. these three jars right so i'm gonna put some cashew i just ordered these from zepto i don't really see the brand when it comes to dry fruits i don't really care that much i don't know so i'm just gonna put so this is it super cute I mean, you don't need spoons for these, to be honest, so I'm gonna keep that out. But that is the cutest thing ever, and I'm just gonna keep it on my dining table. That's so cute. I'm just gonna set it up. Huh? I can set it up anywhere. Now I've kept, like, I got some stuff from PR, all the 90s boomer and all of that, so I kept that here for now. But I can keep this right in front so that I remember right over here. So it's really cute. So I'm not like forgetting to eat this stuff. Okay, so now what do we do with the remaining stuff? I should have bought a smaller jar like this. This is so much better. So I ended up buying the bigger jars like these. Anyway, I think I'll fill it up all the way. I'll just order some more and fill it up so that way we have stock. So that's why I think these jars were better, but it's okay. And then we have cereal, granola, almond granola right here. It looks so much better and organized and I will label those in a second. And then this side also looks really good. We have our coffee tea. I see a dent here, making it look even more vintage and all my stuff there. So yeah, I'm almost done with my shelving and I think I should be satisfied now guys. I'll go crazy, <laughs> um, but yeah. Good morning guys, it's 17th January. 
and it's my baby shower day today we've skipped all through the days and we've reached my baby shower day sorry i have um veronica staying over because we had to pack the baby shower um gifts like to just give away that's why we, we did it last night i'm gonna show you what's in the bag but yeah it's just a bunch of ladies i i really wanted to keep it um a few like women you know how much i love my girls and boys would get bored it's like one of those things where you play pregnancy games and baby games and there's no alcohol and what would men do <laughs> like it's so boring but yeah i rather like I, I think and i enjoy more with so i call my mom her friends um everybody every lady that i know that's close to me and means um means something to me and we have kept uh what else have we kept i don't know what we've kept because veronica planned the whole thing end to end so it's just i'm walking into something i don't know what's happening like i've left control this time and she's planned it end to end we have a fabulous decorator maitri she's from my stories and in case you ever need a personal event sorted she is your girl like she is i can't wait to see the entire setup it's 9 a.m right now and i'm just about to make some breakfast but i'm waiting a bit it's quite chilly in bombay finally um it gets like to 18 degrees 15 degrees in the night which is good and yeah i'm just you know hanging out like i'm it's my hands are cold wow but my event is indoors it's in a small little cute place a cute room at soho house in santa cruz it's um really nice area very intimate area where there's no public just like us and celebrating me and the baby so these are the bags we're putting it of course in basic bags but because why not that's my brand and we have everyone's name written and like us vlogging <laughs> showing them the gifts before the wrap is so really scrunchies for dame from Dame Essentials, like just silk scrunchies. So fancy and bougie. Hot Mama, which is our Masic Beauty body lotion. We've put in all the bags. And then we have like a dessert coming, like a strawberry chocolate ganache dessert, which is in the fridge right now. Ready? Ready! Open? Yeah, you open. Welcome! <laughs> Okay. Dude, oh my god. Take it in and then I'll tell you the theme. Dude, this is my color palette dream. <laughs> Open. Come here. Come. Come. Is it up too much? What are these donuts? Oh, okay. I'm so happy. <laughs> so welcome to your fairy tale baby shower where you're the princess. Oh. It's time to celebrate you. That's so cool. Okay, and so you're gonna see a bunch of chapters all around which is covering your oh, journey. So and a bunch of things over here, all for you because you love your desserts. We I all do. know it. <laughs> um yeah, we just wanna celebrate you today. You're the princess of the fairy Thank tale. Book. <laughs> <laughs> This is adorable. My heart is like so warm right now. There's more dessert coming, just so you know. Are you? Who is going to eat all this? I am so, I can't get over this color palette. Oh my god, this is so freaking thoughtful. Are you kidding me? The beige onesies. <laughs> Dude, wow, wow, I am beyond blown away. Thanks for putting both of these in. Yes, babe, you need it. <laughs> my pea sticks. That's so true. Oh my god. <laughs> this story is deep. unreal. Unreal. I'm like, oh, these girls.
19th Jan. I woke up with construction noises, like you can hear. Uh, there's a whole separate wing being constructed into my complex right now because I'm in a very newish building. It's gonna be a while and a lot of noise. Construction noise even when the baby comes, so that's gal. Oh my god, it's like perpetually in the background. But I was just cleaning up my house. Um, there's just a lot of, lot of baby shower stuff that I have to unpack and unwrap and that suitcase is full of baby stuff. So I'm just sort of getting rid of all the boxes. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. I called for this comforter. I know you can't see. Um, yeah, it's from the brand called Sleepy Cat, where I got my pillow from. It's a massive five feet pillow. I just thought I needed a new comforter because my comforter is quite old. Like when I moved in two years ago, that's the comfort I'm using. And it's so comfortable and I love it. And I'm keeping that. I just wanted to switch out my comforter. So I got another one. Now I don't have place for like literally any of this. I don't know where I'm gonna store it. It's really nice. I love the soft pink color and it's got like white as well in case you want to flip it over. And it's so soft, you guys. It's so soft. I like the brand Sleepy Cat. If you've never heard of them. They keep showing up when I type pillows, blankets. A good job on the marketing bit. Um, yeah, everything's pink. So cool. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. It's so... It's like medium comfort, perfect for like hot weathers, um, so you're not sweating under your blanket. It's like so comfortable feeling. It's so, I'm so happy. I'm gonna switch my old one out and give it for wash and put it away. Hello, good morning to everybody. I don't know where I stopped vlogging. It is, it's been quite a while. I think more than two weeks. And even the clips I shot before are like so old. I'm just getting through stuff. I'm just picking up the camera whenever I do feel like. So hi. I don't know if this is a new vlog or regular vlog. But hello anyway. It's a new day. It's 1st February today. Wow, interesting. 1st Feb. And I'm big. Like literally, I feel so heavy. I feel so big. Like yesterday, I... <laughs> I was like, the baby was moving so much, I swear, I think I felt a foot or something kick. Like when I put my hand, I could feel like tiny little nudges on my tummy, like, get me out of here. <laughs> I don't have space. I just feel like I'm still very tiny and petite as like a body. And this baby is like a tall baby. I don't know, it's just getting so difficult now. I'm entering my third trimester in a few weeks and I cannot imagine what that's gonna be like. So yeah, anyway, I'm gonna set you guys down. I actually have my first doula class today and I don't know how many of you know that, but I am actually, hold on, can't talk like this. So basically I'm hiring a doula. I found one who's amazing. And a lot of mothers have vouched for her. She's done over like 300 births here. So doula is someone who assists you in your birthing. Someone who has techniques and tools to guide you through, pre to, through the birth and labor. Um, I didn't want a family member or Akhil or anyone in the room because they're just gonna hold my hand and like stare at me like, they don't know how to, I need someone to guide me through the pain. And I think doulas are the best for that. I've always wanted a doula. Always. I never pictured a family member in the room with me because I have a very low pain threshold and I want someone to guide me through the pain and the labor and the breathing and you know all of that. Taking my class with her today so I took like a whole package where I'm learning prenatal care, postnatal care, like how to massage the baby. I have someone to do that for me but like I want to learn how to massage my own baby and breastfeeding a little bit on breastfeeding is so important because it's different for different women and just breathing techniques so that for my doula and then i have my hypnobirthing classes at 5 30 today so two classes hypnobirthing is more so like keeping you really calm during birth trying to it's more mental you know trying to breathe through the pain again more techniques and tools uh, so I'm just like learning all of these things and preparing myself for labor. I'm trying my best and then whatever happens, happens. Because you can't truly prepare for birth. Like you could go into a C-section, you can go into any way, right? But I mean, I'm just enjoying learning different parts. Oh, I don't have bread. 
Hello, I just got done with my birthing class uh, two hours ago and it was good. Um, first class was all about baby care and I learned how much ever I could in two hours. So I learned about like what happens immediately when the baby comes out, what could happen, how to deal with it, not to worry too much. Like it was a pretty good class. It was really calming. It was given by my doula. Yeah, it was nice. I actually feel a little prepared and calm i think i'm gonna i don't know all of this is assumptions but i think having more information sort of like keeps me calm it secures me if i don't know anything about something then i start to be a little worried but that's why i am taking so many classes and just like learning and there's no harm in learning and educating yourself just in general you know so i'm just like give me all the knowledge mama i learned like how to hold the baby how like when it cries not to immediately feed it see why it's crying like all of those things were first time mama's panic like absolute panic i think i need to oh my fridge is open I think I need to calm down in a lot of areas because I don't know what kind of how I'll react. I definitely know what kind of mom I kind of want to be. I have a vague idea because <laughs> I don't know. Like I said, like I don't know how it's going to turn out, but I have a vague idea. I'm a very, I think I'll be a very disciplined mom where I'm just like obviously over cuddling the baby because I just would. But I also I'm not like co-sleeping. I'm keeping the kid in the court and like there's like a tons of thing that i know i will absolutely do so it's giving me like assurance and peace that um i think i'll be okay and there's help around me there's tons of help around me so i think i'm gonna be fine i just want the baby to be healthy and just how to battle colic and you know what to give if it's colic and all of that and i'm just like damn son i'm gonna be responsible for a whole ass human like a human that's gonna be this size in 30 years. Yeah, I know it's a new chapter of my life and I just ate lunch. I'm eating chocolate right now because I'm feeling like eating. This is like the twirl chocolate, it's so yum. And then I am going to, I have another birthing class. <laughs> I'm obsessed, I'm one of those moms. Uh, I'm starting my hypnobirthing class like I told you. I just wanna read what hypnobirthing is for you guys exactly. So basically, like I said, it includes like relaxation techniques, breathing, visual, visual, eh? <laughs> relaxation, breathing, visualization, meditation, nutrition, body toning. So these are some things they teach you. Okay, it's like shared respect between the birthing person and healthcare support providers regardless of the birthing setting. So it's just basically tools and techniques on how to calm your mental state and mental mind because I think I definitely will need it and most mothers need it. Like we all get into panic modes. Um, like I said, the pain threshold of each person is so different. Like I know people who can tolerate a lot of pain, you know, and I am that person who cannot tolerate ittu sabi pain. And also I need to vacate this apartment because my lease is up i haven't found my dream home to buy yet in mumbai ek to, it's so expensive you guys and secondly the rooms are so small you can go anywhere and the rooms are the size of a matchbox people in mumbai will agree with me it's not bangalore where it's spacious and cheap and like it's not it's too expensive i i feel like i plan life so much and then it does not turn out the way it does no no Dude, has your life planned out the way you've planned it? It just never turns out. Literally, God is like, you can make all your plans, lady, but I know where to take you. So I feel like I've just been able to trust the Lord in His uh, direction. I just need to have faith and let it be and let His will um, take over my life. And I just need to follow suit. I can make some plans, but if it doesn't fall through, I shouldn't feel bad. You know, I just should like be like, okay, this is what God wants me to do. This is what the Lord wants me to do. And I think I've changed my perspective into this thinking and it's relieved me of a lot of stress and control because I can be that person. So I, I've calmed down a lot in that aspect where I'm just like, Lord, I leave it up to you. So there are tons of things I've just like left it up to the Lord. <laughs> I know it sounds rigidity is what has got me so uncomfortable in so many situations and I've just not been able to let go and I feel like letting go this year is a part of healing for me. So yeah, that's what I'm gonna do and uh, I'm not, weirdly enough, I'm not panicking about being a parent. Is that weird? Should I? <laughs> like, like I know most people are just like panicked being like a first-time mom or like dad. They're just like, ah, parenthood. 
I just am not nervous about parenting. I think I'll be good at it. I just think it's something I've always wanted but never really accepted, but I think it happened anyway. And then I think I'm going to be good at it because I just have so much love to give. I just have so much love to give. It is like unreal. I feel like I want 10,000 pets and like one baby. <laughs> Not 10,000 babies. How much ex passion of love is in my heart that's just the kind of person i am and so that's why i felt like the baby was the right decision for me you know someone to just love unconditionally and look it may take me a different path i have not had the kid yet so i'm saying all of this out of my ass i might be really annoyed at some point but i'm i'm okay i'm just worried about labor and pain that's the only thing i'm worried about labor that's why i'm taking my hypnobirthing classes so i'm not afraid of labor i just want my body back I like really miss Mars. Like I miss myself, and I'm sure all the mothers agree that you miss your old self. But you can't go back to being your old self. But you can appreciate the new version of yourself, which is something I really have to work on. I'm not used to this belly being comfortable. It's been so many months. I feel like I've just been uncomfortable, and it's getting really heavy, y'all. It's getting so heavy, and it's getting like my hip bones over here. Luckily, no complications. I've been blessed with like a healthy birth, so I'm grateful. But I know like tough times are coming. I know the next three months are gonna be difficult for me with movement and like pelvic pain. It's just the pain, dude. When the baby comes, like I feel like I'll just know what to do, and it's every parent's in instinct, yeah. I feel like you just know, like you got this, you know. Turning thirty-one this year, and it feels real. It feels like, girl, where my, the teenage mulls <laughs> is somewhere inside. But like, I feel like I'm ready to take on some hardcore responsibilities. I'm ready to like kill it in my career. I'm like really gunning for some great stuff to happen in the second half of the year with my career. I really want to travel. I feel like my career is only going to pick up after the baby. I'm not afraid of any of those things. I'm just not. And I'm going to take it easy today. I feel like yesterday I took on and did so much work and I was so tired. Dude, I was so tired. By the time I come home, I am just exhausted. And so I give myself grace sometimes to sit like this on a weekday and have chocolate because why not? So I've been having like the worst stomach issues. There's just a lot happening. A lot is happening. I can't believe I'm going to get bigger than this. Like it's shocking me. I have three months to go. This is the kind of bras I think I like. It's non-wired color. I have every color from H and M in this. Oh my god, that's like a stabbing pain, you guys. Oh my god, my stomach, you guys. This is my last week of my second trimester. Can be quite disturbing for your mental health. It really can. It feels like a very long journey. Let's see which tea wins, in my opinion. Thank you. 